uh, Prof. S, you are in South Africa, you hide yourself in South Africa, you are, you are hitting people's heads together, and Nigerian, you are not using your sense? Where is your brain? Can't you see that Prof. S is an antichrist? Can't you see that all these people coming out, they are making their money? Greetings, people. It's Mr. Pull the Trigger yet again on another episode of the Enlightenment series. So in this chapter, I'm going to make you listen to the baby charlatan, uh, the spiritual son to Jeremiah Omoto. is one of the closest sons to Omoto for fame. And this so-called baby charlatan, this vagabond, is the one that Jeremiah Omoto uses to go and pay off bloggers. He's the one that he uses mostly when he wants to execute some of his underground dealings, when he wants to send police to go and threaten people. He has been accused so many times of sending, you know, armed robbers and vagabond street boys to go and harass different pastors because they were speaking against Jeremiah Omoto. So this is the boy. He's a boy. This is a boy in a men's suit. These are boys that Jeremiah uses. But now he is also using the prophetic suit to lie to people and to deceive people. He's the same baby charlatan. If you watched one of my videos, the same baby charlatan that gave me an ultimatum, a prophecy, that within 21 days, I was going to have a kidney failure or I don't know, I was going to was gonna die or something like that. He cursed me a lot in one of his prophecies in the name of prophecy. And he said, if this prophet does not come to pass, blah, 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 and all that nonsense. But you know, these boys, they don't see anything. They're just using the term prophetic to deceive people. And to all the people that follow this young boy, this charlatan, this baby charlatan, they are making the biggest mistake of their spiritual lives. You don't follow vagabonds of this. These are just empty rascals. Young boys that, you know, you know, missed the opportunity to finish their academic studies. That are now coming using the word of God. Using, you know, the prophetic movement to lie to people and to steal people. These are scammers. These are young boys that have failed in almost everything that they ever tried to do in their lives. But all they can do now is to lie to people, deceive people, and manipulate people. What can you expect of him if he's coming from Omoto Fofen? What more can you expect? These are the fruits, the byproducts of Jeremiah Omoto Fofen. And everything he says, it's outer, outer nonsense. Nothing adds up. Ignorance fills his small head. And darkness is filling up his entire body. So listen to some of the nonsense utterances that he has made now, trying to make a comeback to some of the prophecies that he had made about me and all that other nonsense. Just listen to the level of ignorance that is going to showcase and display in this video. And one thing I want to warn Omoto, these boys that you are using to do damage control, they're only implicating you more. They're making you look more dumb. You don't use boys like this to do damage control. And even some of the bloggers that you have been playing to do damage control, they don't know what they're doing. If you want to do damage control concerning this enlightenment series that I'm doing concerning baby testimony, the young, the young boy that you still hold on to, the young boy that you still don't want to release, you have to, in, to hire an entire and highly proficient PR company. Not these young you know, destitutes that do not have any intellectual capacity who have a GPA which is way below par. So listen to the utterances of this ignorant baby charlatan. Prof. S is still taking the matter that where is the CCTV footage, where is the CCTV camera, that Prophet Jeremiah the, uh, or, and his people should provide the CCTV, CCTV footage. What is your interest about that CCTV footage? Mr. Pull the trigger. Listen to me. That trigger you are pulling, it will still kill you. I am telling you this. That is the fact. It will kill you. Okay, let me answer this baby charlatan on this note with my interest concerning the CCTV footage. The reason why we demand the CCTV footage from your father, from Jeremiah Omoto, is because it is within that full CCTV footage. Then we can know and establish who those two anonymous women are. We need to monitor their movements. We need to know where did they go from where they were. That's the reason why we need that CCTV footage. And that is the only CCTV footage that can clear your father of all these allegations and accusations. That's my main interest, to know where they took and who took baby testimony. So that answers your question, baby charlatan. Keep on listening to his ignorant utterances. If you watch very well, someone that thinks very well, you will know that 
this is a conspiracy against this prophet of God, prophet Jeremiah. Ruth Matthew is not coming out to do this by herself. There are people, there are pastors who are backing up Ruth Matthew. Not only pastors, Prof. S, who was a former prophet. That is why he called himself Prof. S, which means he's no longer a prophet. He's now an S prophet. Calling himself Mr. Pull the Trigger. What are you triggering? If you know that you are really Mr. You are Mr. Pull the Trigger, come to Nigeria and talk this rubbish. Come to Nigeria. Are there no prophet in Zimbabwe? Are there no prophet in, in, in South Africa? What is your interest in Nigerian pastor? That is what I'm asking. Can you, can you notice the level of ignorance being displayed here in the amount, the quantum of confidence in this baby charlatan? He believes in his own lies. That's how corrupted he is. Okay, you call this a conspiracy theory. Do you even know what a conspiracy theory is? Or you're just taking context from my own context instead of saying, can't you see this is a conspiracy theory? This is not a conspiracy theory, young man. You don't know what a conspiracy theory is. There's no book that you have ever read or any academic institution that you have ever attended where they could have given you an opportunity to know what is and what is not a conspiracy theory. Well, let me educate you, son. Ruth Matthew was there present at Mercy City in 2019. Not her alone, but with her children. Her child went missing at Mercy City. This is not a conspiracy theory. She went to the police. She reported a missing child at Mercy City. Your father, spiritual father, Jeremiah Omoto, is aware of this case. You don't call this a conspiracy theory, son. This is something that is detailed that happened. But you have done, you and your entire camp and your father, everything within your power to sabotage this investigation. We have asked very simple questions. None of them you have been able to answer. So that you can come and say, Ruth is lying. Prove it that she's lying. Show us a CCTV footage. Bring Juliet into question. Let's question Juliet. Let's, let, let's allow Juliet to give us an account of what transpired on this day. Basic things you can provide. All you can do is to pay off bloggers to run a conspiracy theory that Ruth is lying. To pay off Mr. Ayo, the husband, the ex-husband, to Ruth Matthew, to start talking about things that do not exist. The ones that you are paying off are the ones who are coming with conspiracy theories. Things that cannot be backed up with facts. Everything Ayo said is a, con is, it's a conspiracy. He can't back it up with facts. Everything that you are saying and other bloggers are saying are conspiracy theories. They can't back none of that with facts. What Ruth is saying is an actual event that took place. It's not a conspiracy theory, son. So before you open your mouth, make sure you know enough before you display the level of the ignorance that is in your system. Don't disgrace yourself and don't disgrace your spiritual father. And the trigger that I'm pulling is going to kill charlatans, not me. Should I come to Nigeria and do this, I can come anytime. And there's nothing that you charlatans can ever do to me. But well, I, 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 know I decide to do it from here. I don't have to be in Nigeria to do this. I can do it from anywhere. And here is the best place for me to do it. I'm doing it here and it's causing an impact in Nigeria. That shows that God is in it. That shows that God is in it and there's nothing you can do about it. And what I'm talking is not rubbish. This is the truth. That's why you are shaking. That's why your father is shaking. That's why the entire kingdom of darkness is shaking. So don't tell me where to do it from. I can do it from anywhere. As long as the message can get spread across to the people that should hear the message, then it's a luta continua. I hope this boy is not annoying you, but continue listening. It's very important that we know the people that are claiming or the people that are representing the church of God. These are the baby charlatans. Very ignorant souls that claim to be representing the church of God. These kids that should be in school are the ones that are taking the mandate of preaching the word, the so-called word, to believers, to Christians. We can't allow that anymore. Okay, continue listening. Prophets, remember I gave you a prophecy. You didn't, you didn't come out to, to defend that prophecy if the prophecy is real. Or it's false. If it is true or false, I give you a prophecy that you, as big as you are, you bedwet. 
as big as you are. In fact, apart from that, you have infection. There are many things happening to your body. At times you wake up, you find spams all over your body. Okay, I don't mean to respond to this nonsense, but for the sake of me, let, of me letting the world know that you are full of nonsense, what you call a prophecy, it was just an ignorance. It was just an utterance out of ignorance. None of it is legit. A fine boy like me, illnesses, sicknesses, diseases. Look at yourself, son, and look at me. Come on, I can't even answer to that. Please continue listening. Uh, according to Prof. S, he will say Prophet Jeremiah Shirain. Listen to me, Prof. S. You need our prayer and you will need it very soon. You didn't do what I tell you to do and you are taking my words for granted. I say you should come out and give an open apology. And you think you have mind? <laughs> Profess, you are touching the tail of a lion. And listen to me. It is high time. Me, I am not just a pastor. I'm a rugged pastor. Thank God you called me a baby charlatan. <laughs> I'm not just a baby charlatan. I am everything you can call me. But I will call you a frustrated charlatan. You are a frustrated charlatan. Okay, let's cut here. We can't continue listening to this madness. We can't keep on entertaining this level of ignorance. But to just make things clear, you want me to apologize to charlatans. Let me tell you one thing for sure, son. I will never apologize to any African charlatan. And this is not me touching or tempering with the tail of a lion. These are not lions. These are just owls without horns. They can't do nothing to anyone. They don't have any spiritual powers to command any spiritual instability in my spirit. So there is nothing really that is worth being afraid of when it comes to talking about these charlatans. If Christ is still by my side, if the power of the living God is still inspiring me to expose all these shenanigans, I shall fear no men under the sun. These are mere men who are just like me. But I'm not corrupted. I have Christ and they don't. That's what gives me leverage. So there is really nothing that we can do to try to protect ourselves by trying to avoid engaging into conversations that should empower and open the eyes of the church of God. Jeremiah is not a God. He's just a human being like T.B. Joshua who's still yet to die, just like anyone else. So my message is clear, and I hope my message is clear to the church of God or to anyone that might be following me or that might be listening to what I'm saying, that I'll do whatever it takes to make sure that we bring an end to charlatanism. And I'm encouraging the charlatans to also do whatever it takes to stop me from exposing their evil doings. But at the end of the day, we will see who has God on their side. If God is with you, if you are the touch, not the anointed, time will tell. If I'm going to back down from this, time will tell. But as long as I'm still breathing, you shall have no peace. You shall know no peace. There shall be no rest for the wicked. You better just lay low, sit down, sit back and relax and allow God to do his work through me. There's no end to this until there's an end to charlatanism. And there's no time that we are going to get to whereby we can actually put closure to this discussion. Because many people need to know this. Many people need to hear this. A lot of deception, manipulations, and thuggery have been going on in the church of God. And we have been watching. We have been silent. You all know we have been silent. You can attest to this. There's a time for everything. And this is the time to put an end to this madness. We can't tolerate this further. This is where it ends. We can't take it anymore. This is where it ends. Not only me is doing this. God has a plan for this truth. I'm just the one who's bringing out first and fighting it so hard with everything within me. 
but there are more that are coming. More that will fight even harder. I'm just doing the best, the maximum best that I can do now, but the ones that are coming, this is not a prophecy, but actually put it into consideration so that when it happens and I'm no longer here, you can attest to this that I once said it. There are more that are coming that are more radical than me. More that are coming that are more fearless than me. I might not be the one to change, to bring an end to this madness, to bring an end to charlatanism. But I will definitely, and I am definitely sparking the little minds that will. There are minds that are burning right now with zeal and waiting for the right time to start exposing this madness. In that time is coming. God is rising an entirely new generation. Bold and fearless disciples that will take this fight on. So be rest assured and be prepared and be prepared. You can't kill all of us. You can't suffocate all of us. You can't arrest all of us. Who are you, people? Who do you think you are? You have made yourself believe that you are who you are not. You are mere human beings who breathe the same air that we breathe, with the same blood that we have. The only deficiency that is in you is the lack of Christ and the lack of Holy Spirit. You are led by the devil. And everything that involves the devil, everything that the devil involves himself into, it always ends in destruction. Destruction is your destiny. And I'm sure you all know, they all know that, that they are headed for destruction. They have nothing to lose. They have committed themselves to live this life. There is no turning back. We can't change their minds. These are hardened criminals. It's too late, but the only thing we can do now is to fight for the flock, to save the gullibles from falling into this trap of these mad people. These people are mad. If I should put it correctly, they are mad. They've committed their lives to destroying other lives. So our fight is not really against them. When we expose them, we are trying to enlighten the body, the body of Christ the people that used or the people that still believe in them so that they can be freed from this ignorance and these manipulations. So be rest assured, we are in here for a very long time. And if God be for us, who dares be against us? No one. No amount of threats, curses, false prophecies, ultimatums can overcome this. I wish I can stop at any given point in time. But that would be me dropping my head into water. And I can't breathe. You can't stop the truth. You can't prevent the truth. You might kill the truth teller. But as long as the truth has not been spoken, God will raise another truth teller to fulfill his mandate. So allow God to do his work. But you can also continue doing your work. But then we'll see how this ends. So with that being said, it's Mr. Pull the Trigger. I'll check you out on the next episode of the Enlightenment series. I'm out. Some of you are saying on the comment section, uh, why we need, will we not use the, 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 the prophecy to locate where testimony is? Let me tell you, there is a way the Spirit of God works. Testimony is a life. And testimony is not with prophet Jeremiah Moto Fufi. Testimony is with the family of this woman. Remember, another man came out, Alfred Ayo, who is the husband to that test, uh, to, to, to Ruth Matthew, who gave birth to testimony. Remember, Alfred Ayo came out and he said, Ruth Matthew. And Emmanuel Marcos conspired to carry his baby.